I was getting a lot of scripts from people. Young writers wanting to make movies would send me the scripts to see if they should make the movie or how to make it better. But a lot of what they were shooting were scripts that weren't ready. I thought, gosh, there's got to be some way to help people learn to write better stories. The question came up is how to f help the film community here in Seattle. So one of my best friends is Stuart Stern, who you know, is one of the greatest writers of all, of all time. I was wandering around looking where to teach. I said to him, let's let's start a school. Warren Etheridge and I had been friends, and over our 15th Vodka Tonic, you know, might have said, wouldn't it be great if we could start this kind of school? And the three of us talked about how Seattle desperately needs a school to encourage storytelling. Tom heard that and called me up and said, that's an interesting idea. Let's talk about that. We found out that Rick Stevenson and Stuart Stern were having similar conversations. The best thing to do would be to sit down together and see whether we couldn't combine our energies in this quest. I teach the fundamentals of structure. How do you get those ideas into 100 page, 120 page script in a way that pulls the audience in. Every day I sat in that class, I felt like I got a, oh, I get it. John's class is basically my new religion. And that structure is not meant to weigh down your creativity, it's meant to empower your creativity to really tell stories in an effective way. And we got to look at each of the structural elements back to back with movie clips where the examples made it perfectly clear what he was talking about. So it's incumbent and essential that writers learn how to build that structure before they go off and try to create these great stories. Tom Skerritt teaches the On Your Feet class, which is where we take our scripts and our classmates perform them and direct them for us. How to study screenwriting from an actor's perspective. That worked on the page, but it didn't actually read very well when it was played out. I don't want to have to ask a writer what he means by that and have them give some intellectual response. Uh, it needs to be visceral at that point. Just learning to appreciate that you're not writing a screenplay as a written piece, but it's a performance piece. In getting on your feet as an actor or as a director, you find that out. The point of such a character, the class that I teach, is to remind people that no good story starts without the basis of a great character. You know, if you don't love the characters you see, you're not going to enjoy the movie. Everybody walks away from a movie loving it because they've related to the main character. Characters are a lot more complex, they're a lot more layered, they're a lot more complicated than we often write them. Really getting to the heart of the characters that you're creating and realizing how much you are in your characters. Character comes from the conflict we all experience, the universal conflicts we experience, then we can tell great stories. Beaker Series is really a wonderful opportunity for students at the film school to learn from the masters. It was great hearing George Wing speak about how he writes and how he works through the story. Every week we bring up a, a professional screenwriter or filmmaker like Sidney Pollack or Rod Lurie or Ed Zwick to talk about their craft and the commerce of filmmaking. What was great about the Speaker Series was the opportunity to hear from working producers and directors. It was really interesting to hear Chris McQuarrie speak, to hear an Academy Award winning screenwriter talk and, and realize that what he does is really not so unimaginable for us if we follow the craft. It's a great chance for the students to interact with the filmmakers directly and to hear all about the troubles and travails of getting by in the business. My class is the Storytellers Conservatory and it's dedicated to helping the artist find their voice. We learn how to incorporate our own experiences into the writing process. And if you can better understand yourself, you're going to be a much better storyteller. You really learn about um, what is driving you to tell the stories that you want to tell. We all bring something different and unique. But most of us have never asked the hard questions and really thought about what that is. Rick's class will help you get there. The personal connection is about going out and in. The connection between those experiences of ours and those experiences of the characters that we create. Stuart Stern teaches you how to excavate the areas of your own life 
in order to create scenes and characters and other people. Stuart Stern is a miracle worker. Having the opportunity to study with the guy who wrote Rebel Without a Cause uh, was one of the main reasons I chose to attend the film school. The thing I loved most about John Jacobson's class, The Play's The Thing, was a day where we talked about camera angles. What's the language of film and how to execute what shots when to build and transform the scene as well on the screen. You can understand the scene from a director's perspective. We also talk a lot about how to talk to actors, how actors work, what language to use to actors, and then how to get on your feet and work with them. Being able to see that process of a story and a director and actors all working together, um, it was fascinating. You should come to the film school because there is no other place in the world where you can learn so much in so little time. The only thing like it, I mean, it's a writing boot camp. The film school is worth every penny. It gives you a tool belt full of tools to go back to the stories that you care about and actually teaches you how to tell them. And in three weeks, you, you have the foundation to become a screenwriter. Don't miss it. Go out and do it because it's, it's an experience you won't find anywhere else. At the film school, we became like a little family. The, the sense of community and family in the film school is amazing. There's a total trust there that you would never imagine could happen in such a short time. We hang out together, we eat dinner together. It's like a close-knit family. If I were going to describe the film school in one word, I would say intense. Transformational. Generosity. Honesty. Transformative. Priceless. Craft. Intensity. So many folks spend so much time pretending to be something. And after the film school, I'm sure that everybody knows in their heart of hearts, I am a screenwriter, or I'm not.